This is uh, this is Taylor uh, Whitler. Uh, she is now uh, joining us. She's a witness, and by the way, she is a daughter of a military veteran. Man, that came in handy. She was at the bar for a friend's 21st birthday and saw the shooter reload. Says he knew what he was doing. Taylor, uh, we watched you about an hour ago on another network. How are you doing? If you don't mind recounting what what you saw and what you did. So what I saw, I was dancing on the dance floor, um, and I clearly heard a gunshot come from behind me. So I glanced back, and it was this taller man with a gun shooting multiple people. He, uh, it, we all just kind of froze for a split second, and then everyone booked it and dove to the floor. Um, it was, after the first round, it was quiet for about five seconds, and then some guys that were next to me on the floor got up and started sprinting towards the back door and yelled at everyone, get up, run, he's coming. And uh, so it was like 50 people trying to get up and run out the back door all at once. Um, unfortunately, I was one of the ones that got caught on the floor and was trampled on by a couple people. Um, on my way up, I got hit in the head by a bar stool, being thrown out a window. Um, and I, at that moment, I didn't know whether I was going to be able to get up or not. And if that guy was really coming, what was going to happen to me? I was thinking that I'd go under a table until this man came up from behind me and grabbed me by the waist and pulled me up. and. He told me, he was like, run, get out. Like, let's go. Um, and at the time, it was just me. I was there. I went with 11 friends so far. We've only found six of them. We don't know where the other ones are. I don't know if they're okay or not. Uh, and the only thing going through my head the entire time was get out. You got to get out and get safe. Taylor, tell us about the gunman. Was he aiming directly at people or was he just spraying? Did it look like he was targeting individuals? Um, as soon as he walked in the door, he first went for the security guard. When the security guard dropped, uh, I think he was going for whoever was close by. Um, I saw two more people drop, and then from there, I was already in a dog pile with people below me, people on top of me. I couldn't see anything. Yeah, Taylor described. Describe uh, the gunman and, and his shooting, because uh, apparently you told some folks that you thought you saw him reload. Uh, did you see anybody actually get shot by him? I saw three people get shot by him. Um, as soon as he walked in, he had perfect form. I'm born in a military family, and I've been around guns my entire life. I've been shooting them. I've seen them, I've cleaned them, so I know I know a bit about them. And he he looked like he knew what he was doing. He had practiced, he had been shooting for he... Taylor. What kind of a gun was it? It was a black semi-automatic pistol. It looked like it was a 40. But I couldn't tell. I was. In, I only took a glance at it. Okay. Taylor, I'm sure it's so surreal for you to be on national television talking about this. You went to that club last night just trying to learn to line dance and be with your friends for your tw for her 21st birthday. What's going through your mind right now? <laughs> I'm just shocked. Like I don't understand how people could think this way. Like, I just, I don't understand why this would happen. I didn't think this would ever happen to me until it actually happened. I don't even know what to think right now. You know, Taylor, I, I watched you this morning, and I saw your dad walk up behind you and talk with you about this. And you guys have gone over stuff like this before, and you seem to, in your mind, have a pattern on what to do. Can you tell our viewers about that? So, um, growing up, it was always a scenario that we went over because of how times can be nowadays and how crazy people can be. Um, 
and he always taught me drop everything it doesn't matter what you're holding it doesn't matter what you're doing you drop anything and you take cover you uh, you take cover you get out you, you get safe yeah you did so that and was the first thing on my mind was to get safe and you were able to escape to safety. Uh, the sheriff a little while ago, Taylor, said, you know, anything can, like this can happen anywhere, sadly, because of mental illness, and he went on to describe that. But naturally, he also did address, he said, no idea if terrorism is involved, but anytime, and I'm sure with your military family, anytime something like this happens, that's one of the first things you think, is this guy a terrorist? And there's no suggestion that he is, but that's what people think. I mean, nowadays, you can never really tell. There's so much bad going on in the world. But if the way I think about it is one bad act, even though it may be really bad, causes so much good. There's, we had so many praying circles um, in a bunch of different groups with a bunch of random mm -hmm. people. We saw people that were inside connect with family outside. It was, it was beautiful. Taylor, tell us about this bar. Who goes there? Um, anybody and everybody. It's anybody that loves country, anybody that loves to dance. Me and all my friends go there twice students. a week. It's college. It's all ages. It's college students. It's uh, seniors in high school. It's middle-aged people. It's elderly people. Everybody goes there. It doesn't matter what age you are. Taylor, you made. I'm so glad you're okay. Hope you find uh, good news for about your six friends that are missing. And thanks so much for sharing your story today. Thanks, Taylor.